Harriel makes a nice cut here. Harriel for first down. He's got a shot for some deeper room here. Harriel cuts it to 40. Ball comes loose and Haddonfield may have it. Okay, now the down. referee says he was down. It was reached in by Garstatowicz. Garstatowicz, I can say that right. But a big run there in the first down, and Haddon Heights very, very lucky they didn't lose it. And I think Harry L made the call him first, himself first with bouncing back up and saying, hey, I was down. Yeah, he was holding the ball a little loose there. Harry L. Harry L finds his seam, runs over a man to the 20 yard line. That will be enough for a first down. Touchdown saving tackle on the play by Narducci. Now the threat of a pass kind of loosened up the, lead, the defense a little bit and Harry L went off that. Second down in 10. I formation for Batson. Off one man, he finds some room around the corner. He's gonna get a first down and more. See how far he can take it down the sidelines as he's chased from behind, still on his feet, and he's going to go in for the touchdown, but there is a flag down. A flag is down at the 25-yard line, and this might come back. Here comes the big call right now, and that was thrown very early at contact. There comes the referee with the call. It is holding. Oh, but it's going to be against Haddon Heights. So holding against Haddon Heights, and the touchdown is good. So the touchdown, after all that, is good. A run of about 75 yards, and Haddonfield takes the lead six to nothing. What a job by Bats. You know, we've, we've talked about him. Uh, doing a good job reading of what's in front of him. But, you know, prior to that, getting to the outside, did a great job lowering his shoulder, taking on a defender, bouncing off him, and showing a lot of speed going up that far side. I thought he was running out of gas down the <laughs> sideline, but he made it. Near side. Man in motion, low snap. They fake it, give it to Wolf, and Wolf is going to get the first down. Mistake by the Haddon Heights defense. It's a gain of 15 of first down in Heights territory. And it might not have seemed like a lot, but I felt like that play, what happened in that play is going to dictate what's going to happen this game moving forward. That was a play where Heights needed to make a stop and uh, a real nice... Narducci sent a man in motion. And the quarterback, Narducci's going to keep it, and he is going to go in for the touchdown. Narducci's going to score from 26 yards out, and Haddonfield increases the lead. Boy, talk about waiting, waiting, waiting. Kept the ball in the back, who was going in motion's gut for an extra split second or second and really saw what was open up in front of him, and it was wide open, made the right read, and Narducci goes in for six. Diorio wants to throw, looking, and he is going to be planted in the ground. The ball comes loose, and Haddonfield has it. It'll be a turnover as it's recovered on the play by Jack McNamara. Well, Diorio stayed in a pocket that was really closing down, and yeah, you know, when you get hit from your blind side, that's what's going to happen as the ball jars loose. And again, as we said, Haddonfield on both sides of the ball right now. Have Narducci, there it comes. Fake it. Here comes Wolf. Wolf, first down. Gets down to the 30, tackled by Turner, and that play has been a problem yeah. for Heights today. And that was that play that we talked about being a key play defensively, Heights on that third down play. Uh, we felt it was pivotal. I believe they're only down by seven, nothing. We were able to get the first and had the same type of success again on that play. First and 10 from the fifth off your screen. It is Batson. Batson pushes ahead. And he'll be inside the five, down at about the two. It'll be first and goal. So a first and goal coming up for Haddonfield. I think they're just going to try to punch it by Narducci. 25-yard try, line drive, blocked. Heights picks it up. They have a chance to maybe run this back. Here's Presley. Presley across the 30. I think he's going to go. What a turnaround of events as the kick is blocked and Presley runs it back 80 yards for the touchdown. Great momentum play there for Heights going into the half. I don't have it. 
give that kick was kicked right into the defense. Something was wrong on that one, as it is now four. Ariel, good push ahead here. He is close to the first down, and they may give him the first down based on the spot, so it is a first down carry. Definitely a favorable spot for Heights there. I think what kind of happened there, Jason, is he rolled over the, the player in front of him was on his back, so yeah. that gave him those extra couple yards, so well done. Good job by the refs. Yeah, maybe he might try and block on this play. He okay. is back to pass. He gets the pass off. It is caught, and it is going to be a first down as Presley has it. Presley down the sidelines. Presley is going to score. No flags down. A 55-yard touchdown pass, and it's a one-point game. Deshaun Presley does a good job of fighting the, the seam route there, just cutting it right at the uh, top of his route, and... Diario finds a wide open and he makes a play, does a good job of running strong and gets it out to the open field and takes it for six. A huge extra point kick here for George Van Istendahl. He can tie it at the 9.15 mark. So to kick off, Van Istendahl. Deep kick here. Going to be taken by Maines. Means is hit hard. Ball fumbled and Heights might have it. I think Heights has this. Let's say do. Heights has the ball recovered by Jalen Riggs, and now Heights can really feel the excitement on this sideline. Good job of uh, biting the ball on the tackle there, and it just popped out and landed in Heights' hands. They are going to pass. They're going for it. Going for the end zone. Jump ball caught. Inside the five. Pushing in as he in. Down at the one yard line. Howden Heights went for it on the big play there. They went to their big play wide receiver who makes the catch. What a job there. I believe that's Presley. Diorio does a great job of giving his receiver a chance. And just finds a space. Fake it, pass, up into the end zone. Man there, in and out of his hands. It was a beautifully thrown ball, and Turner couldn't quite come up with it. And now fourth down play, back at the 10. Actually, they're saying, Van Instendahl in. Again, a 31-yard try for the lead. And they're not going to get a try. And this is going, could be, a, look like a face mask for sure. No flag. Oh, man, they're like power out of this. Okay, Batson. Batson for a first down and more. Can he get there? No. A touchdown saving tackle by Harry Elts. A gain of about 25 and a first down. Batson's doing a good job of hitting the hole and hitting the hole quick. He's just getting to the second level as fast as he can. And it's Haddon, or Haddon Heights is too slow to get there. Haddon Field now in Heights territory. First and 10 from the line. First and 10. Batson. Ball fuck comes loose. Who gets it? Looks like I think it looks like Heights have it. We're waiting for the signal. No official signal yet. It is Heights ball. A helmet on the ball and a turnover. And Heights has the ball. Is recovering it on the play was Justin McKay. Great job. Just like the kickoff where they good job of tackling and biting them. For a first down. He rolls to his left. He's still rolling, gets the pass off. It is caught by Presley. Presley's still on his feet. He's going to be about five yards shy of the first down where he's tackling the play by Doherty. It's like Presley's slow to get up. He's going back into the huddle. Heights here is going to face a fourth down and almost six. We'll call Looking for a screen here. Haddon Heights better be ready. Handoff up the middle. This is Wolf. Wolf gets loose, and does he have enough? It's very close. Let's see where they mark it. Looks like they may have to measure this. This is how yeah, close it is. No, close. Now, now they're going to give him the first down. They give him the first down. What a play and a run there by Wolf. As now we go under one minute to play in the third. Wolf's been their big play man for for today's game. He had that third down. He had. 
Heights better expects a, a screen here. Make sure they can't get it on. Going deep, has a man there. He beat the secondary, it's dropped. He had it, that was Maines. And then on the hit, it was knocked out by Johnson. Great play by the defender, punching the ball out of the hands of the receiver there. Here they come. And it is blocked, and it is picked up for the touchdown. As Haddonfield blocks it, and they score. Garskowitz picks it up, and Haddonfield takes the lead. Great job of Haddonfield taking advantage of the field position on that play. Special teams miscued by Heights there. But it took a little bit too long for the uh, snap and the punt to get off. So Haddonfield incre increases their lead. They lead it by six as they line up for the extra point. They'll start in the muddle formation okay. right now. So extra point try coming up for Cutter. To his left. Back to pass again. Looking, gets the right into coverage and Ooh. should have been intercepted. Not quite though as Kadar couldn't come up with it. Not a wisely thrown ball. We had a good look at that one there, yeah. Jason. Haddonfield saw Diorio. He was looking, he was looking uh, President's way the whole time. Haddonfield saw it and they were. Diorio from the shotgun. Straight back. He's going, oh, this is a badly thrown ball. Tipped and it's caught. It is caught on the play by Presley as it looked like Maines was going to intercept it. And sometimes it's better to be lucky than good. Yeah, definitely on that play. Haddonfield had an easy interception, but it just went right through the hands and Presley was just sitting back waiting for it. Blitz on the right side of the screen. Here comes the blitz. He gets the pass off, it's caught. This is Turner. Turner for a first down and more inside the 15 to about the 14. Great job with Diorio seeing the blitz and throwing to the blitz. He knew that the blitz was coming and he threw right where the, um, right where the open spot was left. This is another pass play, Diorio. It's it off, it is caught. Inside the five, looks like a first down. Great time, he had plenty of time on that play. He was standing in the pocket, just waiting for somebody to get open, and he got someone open. I believe that was Turner again. We have an injury timeout. 5.50. Man goes in motion. Here it comes to the left. Bats in, finds a hole. A touchdown saving tackle by Isaiah Turner, but a first down nonetheless. Doesn't end the game, but it definitely it's not great for Heights. So. Haddonfield doing what they Third down and three. Quarterback takes it. Narducci oh, balls loose. Let's see who has it. No signal yet. Oh, looks like Heights And Heights it. has it. Wow. Isaiah Turner comes away with the ball. And they have a shot here with two minutes and 12 seconds remaining to tie this game. Wow. That is the third time today, Jason, that has happened. Another great job of the tackler biting the ball and it just pops out. Heights has done a great job of that. Haddonfield showed blitz for a second, they drop back. Gets by one, there's gonna be a sack on the play. There are three white shirts on there, in there on that sack, Denoya and Collins. They're gonna let the clock tick down as they lose about five. Heights again, two timeouts. Diorio wants to pass. Pressure up the middle. This ball is a jump ball, and that one is intercepted. Intercepted by Maines. He did go out of bounds, but it is intercepted, and this game is just about over. All right, Dan. Happy Thanksgiving. Okay. Nice meeting you. Thank you very much again. Great meeting you. That is going to do it as Haddonfield is going to escape with a 21-14 win.